Now I would like to invite yang berhormat Puan Yeo Bi Yin, Minister of Energy, Science, Technology, Environment and Climate Change to deliver a keynote speech. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me to welcome YB Puan Yeo. Good morning, the Chairman of Sustainable Energy Development Authority, um, Ms. Catherine and uh, our, my deputy, uh, Yang Berhormat Munira, my special officer, Yang Berhormat Ad Adumagega Singh, uh, Rajiv Rishakaran, uh, Energy Commission Chairman, uh, Don Fauzi, Dato Fauzi, and also Tan Sri uh, Ahmad Zaidi. And ladies and gentlemen, good morning, everyone. Um, because I am just appointed as the minister, actually, I'm a very, very casual person. I am just hoping that this um, this town hall would be a very casual town hall where you talk to not your leaders but a, a, a partner of yours in renewable energy industry. But before, thank you. Um, my name is Yobi Yin. Um, I have broke the record of the country of having the longest ministry name in the history of the country. I remember two days ago, I went to a French event. The French ambassador told me that it took two days for him to memorize the name of my ministry with the right sequence. So the current sequence is this. It's the Ministry of Energy, Technology, Science, Climate Change and Environment. We may change the sequence just so that we can get the right acronym so that everyone can remember at the end of my tenure at least to remember what minister I am. But one thing I want to tell you is, this, is that the new government will focus on renewable energy. Why? Um, as an energy minister, <laughs> as the energy minister, the only, what we want is affordable, reliable, sustainable, and also long-term energy security for our country. But if we look at the trend for the past two decades, we are seeing because of cost consideration, we are seeing a lot of coal fire power plant coming up, mushrooming from 8.3% in 1996 to 42.5% in 2016. If we do not put a stop in it, there will be more to come. And a lot of people say that because it is cheap, therefore we are going ahead. And I want to tell you that uh, because we do not produce coal in Malaysia, so for long-term security, one day if there is a glut, if there is certain things that is happening that beyond our control, our country will be in trouble because we are relying on something that we do not have. That is the reason why renewable energy is something the, 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 the government wants to move forward to. So that in long term, whatever that happens outside the country, that we are secured. That is the reason we need to start today. And I also want to say this, is that because energy costs also relies on a lot of, 30% uh, uh, of the energy cost is actually on capacity. Uh, and for certain reasons that the previous government, we have approved, uh, the government has approved a lot of IPP, uh, independent power producers contract uh, through direct negotiation, direct award uh, to a lot of uh, to a lot of them and that it built up our capacity and then the users need to pay for that capacity because of this that the new government actually are reviewing uh, many of these um, independent power producers contracts <laughs> oh, you all love it because it's your competitors yeah um, this this independent power producers contract that is directly awarding to uh, not deserving, non-deserving companies, we are reviewing them, especially those that bring no cost implication to the government. I want to say this is that uh, we have actually decided to cancel four of them. Uh, you will hear news in time to come. For a reason that because Malaysians do not need 
that many power plants at this moment. We have a reserve margin of 30% at this moment. And many other countries around the world, even the developed countries, do not have this 30%. And the users need to pay for this 30% every time they pay for the electricity bill. There are two things that we can come up from it. Is one, we can afford to, to cancel some of the IPP uh, contracts that has no cost implication to the government. Second, is that we have time to develop a new energy industry, and that is renewable energy industry. <laughs> and there is another thing that is very, very close to my heart. You know, um, in 2013, I was, when I was just elected, I went to a rural areas in, in Sarawak. I see many people that still do not have direct access to electricity. Of course, the government will tell you that 98.9% .9 of the people in Malaysia has access to electricity and that only 1% do not have access to electricity. Sometimes I find that lawmakers or people in the high look at the numbers, look at statistics like they are, no, they, they are not a person. But when you go down to the ground and you feel that people in Malaysia, in such a country, we are a middle-income country where we still have kids that do not have light at night to read and to study. And that is not reasonable. And I know that solar power, micro-hydro will be the solution to these kids so that we bring light to the rural areas in Sabah and Sarawak and in Peninsula Malaysia. And because of that reason that I am here today, uh, because of that reason that, um, that I want to be my first town hall as a Minister of Energy, Technology, Science, Climate Change and Environment, that I want to do a renewable energy town hall. Because I know renewable energy will be the solution for our long-term energy security and affordability, as well as to the rural people. In the old time, when, the, when we have a problem, well, the government will create an agency or create a GLC to, to solve the problem. In the old time, when we have a problem, the government will say, hey, let's start a company that focus on that thing. We pump in money to that company and hopefully that company will help to solve the people's problem. Um, the time of this has passed. I believe in the market force and I believe in businesses because only through a good market and only through an ecosystem where businesses can thrive that technology and innovation will come and solve our people problem. That is why I'm here to listen to you. What do you need from me so that you can thrive in your industry? Because when you thrive, the country thrives. And in the past, this is also one thing. Many of you here are coming with your name cards and proposals. I know that. Don't worry. You have place to put your proposals. You have place to put your, your cards. But also do not worry if you do not see me personally. Because in the old time, knowing who is important to get a government project, knowing who is important to get a quota in the fee-in tariff, knowing who it's important to get your business through. But I want to tell you this, at least in my ministry, you do not need to know me. You only need to know how. That is why even my good friend calling me after I am appointed as energy, uh, uh, as a minister, I told him, no, you come to the town hall. Because knowing me will not give you an advantage in any project. And I want to tell you a secret. I am not in the tender board. So guys, make sure you know how. Make sure that we, the, the role of a government is not to do business. The role of government is to create an environment for the most competitive business to thrive. And that is my role in the ministry. So do not be disappointed if you think that you are at disadvantage because I cannot arrange for a one-to-one -one meeting with your company. 
do not be afraid. You are still at the level playing field when it comes to anything that we are open for tender. There is only open tender in the ministry. So, so I really want to leave this to you, and I'm really here to listen to you. We have、uh, sustainable energy development authorities, of which I have heard some of the feedback.、Um, but I want to hear a lot more. I want to know how we can do that. I want to listen to you before I come back to you again with what the, is the government plan. Overall idea is this: is that we want to create an environment where our business can innovate. Our business can invest. The business become the projects become bankable. The projects become something that is feasible for the、uh, for the company and investor to invest, and that we have a good ecosystem for our renewable energy to grow. Pakata Harapan Manifesto.、Um, I have to share with you a story. Pakata Harapan Manifesto. When we talk about the manifesto in terms of renewable energy. I remember I was telling Dr. Ong Kian Ming, he was drafting this. He said, "So we have a goal from energy of、uh, energy mix,、um, electricity mix of renewable energy, excluding big hydro. We want to go from two percent at this moment, actually lower than two percent, to twenty percent. It was very, very high." I told Kian Ming, "Kian Ming, this is so ambitious." Kim Min said, "It is doable. So once you become government, somebody, the energy minister, will have got to do it." Lo and behold, today, I hope that it is him that become the energy minister. But I want to tell you, we have an ambitious plan, and I'm now having the responsibility. I need the idea from you because it is already in the promise, and as a government, we want to fulfil the promise that we have made to the people of Malaysia. We want to increase the renewable energy electricity generation mix from two percent to twenty percent in times to come. With that, I want to leave the floor to you. Thank you. Thank you, YB Kwan Yew. Gentleman on the left. Hi, my name is、uh, Kong. K O N G Kong. I'm from Meko Solar. I'm also、uh, representing M P I A Solar Association. So, basically, I have a dream. <laughs> I wish to see. I wish to see the solar panels on normal residential houses, where my neighbourhood kids. Can ask uncle, uncle, or daddy, what is that blue color things on the roof? Okay, so when they ask, then we will have a chance to explain to them the importance of renewable energy and also this climate change. This is very important because this has to go deep down to the root of our children. So. To achieve this dream and vision, we need YB and Seda assistance, on also to solve the problem of the ladies just now, and a few others, to find a way to really benefits the public residential market, not the commercial or the big plants. So to do that, one of the suggestion is to find a way to evaluate the displaced cost. The keyword is displaced cost. Displaced cost of the RE. At the moment, the displaced cost is very low, and it's not reflecting the true、um, definition as per RE Act. So, for example, the recent ST suggested that the new base、uh, tariff rate is 39.45 cents per kilowatt hour. 39.45 cents. Per kilowatt hour, based on the new base tariff under IBR RP2. So, and the displaced cost that has been revised, the original was year 2011, then it was revised in May 2014. The displaced cost is between 0.21 to 0.31. There are 20 percent difference. So, with this extra. Income to the pool to say that, then you can actually make real good use of this money, not to 
benefit the large scale, but the residential, so that the normal public can install solar panel on the roof and the kids can benefit and learn what is the importance of renewable energy. So this is the one way of doing it to solve a lot of problems, review the displaced cost. Number two is uh, actually to give some personal tax relief um, to the normal citizens to install and go green for their houses. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. K.K. Kong, for your feedback. Ms. Hatim.